Integrated Services Digital Network ISDN is a set of communication standards for simultaneous digital transmission of voice, video, data, and other network services over the traditional circuits of the public switched telephone network. It was first defined in 1988 in the CCITT Red Book. Prior to ISDN, the telephone system was viewed as a way to transport voice, with some special services available for data. The key feature of ISDN is that it integrates speech and data on the same lines, adding features that were not available in the classic telephone system. The ISDN standards define several kinds of access interfaces, such as Basic Rate Interface Primary Rate Interface Narrowband ISDN and Broadband ISDN ISDN is a circuit-switched telephone network system, which also provides access to packet-switched networks, designed to allow digital transmission of voice and data over ordinary telephone copper wires, resulting in potentially better voice quality than an analog phone can provide. It offers circuit-switched connections for either voice or data, and packet-switched connections for data, in increments of 64 kilobit, s. In some countries, ISDN found major market application for Internet access, in which ISDN typically provides a maximum of 128 kilobits per second bandwidth in both upstream and downstream directions. Channel bonding can achieve a greater data rate, typically the ISDN B channels of 3 or 4 BRIS 6 to 8 64 kilobits per second channels are bonded. ISDN is employed as the network, data link and physical layers in the context of the OSI model. In common use, ISDN is often limited to usage to Q.931 and related protocols, which are a set of signaling protocols establishing and breaking circuit switched connections, and for advanced calling features for the user. They were introduced in 1986. In a video conference, ISDN provides simultaneous voice, video, and text transmission between individual desktop video conferencing systems and group room video conferencing systems. Topic: ISDN elements. Integrated services refers to ISDN's ability to deliver at minimum two simultaneous connections, in any combination of data, voice, video, and fax, over a single line. Multiple devices can be attached to the line, and used as needed. That means an ISDN line can take care of most people's complete communications needs apart from broadband internet access and entertainment television at a much higher transmission rate, without forcing the purchase of multiple analog phone lines. It also refers to integrated switching and transmission in that telephone switching and carrier wave transmission are integrated rather than separate as in earlier technology. Topic basic Rate Interface The entry-level interface to ISDN is the Basic Rate Interface a 128 kilobits per second service delivered over a pair of standard telephone copper wires. The 144 kilobits per second payload rate is broken down into two 64 kilobits per second bearer channels B channels and one 16 kilobits per second signaling channel D channel or data channel. This is sometimes referred to as 2B plus D. The interface specifies the following network interfaces. The U interface is a two-wire interface between the exchange and a network terminating unit, which is usually the demarcation point in non-North American networks. The T interface is a serial interface between a computing device and a terminal adapter, which is the digital equivalent of a modem. The S interface is a four wire bus that ISDN consumer devices plug into. The S and T reference points are commonly implemented as a single interface labeled ST on a network termination 1. NT1. The R interface defines the point between a non ISDN device and a terminal adapter, TA, which provides translation to and from such a device. BRI ISDN is very popular in Europe, but is much less common in North America. It is also common in Japan, where it is known as INS-64. Topic. Primary rate interface 
The other ISDN access available is the Primary Rate Interface PRI, which is carried over an E1 kilobits per second in most parts of the world. An E1 is 30 B channels of 64 kilobits per second, 1 D channel of 64 kilobits per second and a timing and alarm channel of 64 kilobits per second. This is often referred to as 30B plus 2D. In North America, PRI service is delivered on one or more T1 carriers, often referred to as 23B plus D, of 1,544 kilobits per second, 24 channels. A PRI has 23 B channels and 1 D channel for signaling. Japan uses a circuit called a J1, which is similar to a T1. Interchangeably but incorrectly, a PRI is referred to as T1 because it uses the T1 carrier format. A true T1, commonly called analog T1, to avoid confusion, uses 24 channels of 64 kilobits per second of in-band signaling. Each channel uses 56 kilobits for data and voice and 8 kilobits for signaling and messaging. PRI uses out-of-band signaling which provides the 23B channels with clear 64 kilobits for voice and data and 164 kilobits D channel for signaling and messaging. In North America, non-facility associated signaling allows two or more PRI to be controlled by a single D channel, and is sometimes called 23B plus D plus N asterisk 24B. D channel backup allows for a second D channel in case the primary fails. NFAS is commonly used on a T3. PRI ISDN is popular throughout the world, especially for connecting private branch exchanges to the public network. Even though many network professionals use the term ISDN to refer to the lower bandwidth BRI circuit, in North America BRI is relatively uncommon whilst PRI circuits serving PBXs are commonplace. Topic. Bearer channel The bearer channel B is a standard 64 kilobits per second voice channel of 8 bits sampled at 8 kHz with G.711 encoding. B channels can also be used to carry data, since they are nothing more than digital channels. Each one of these channels is known as a DS0. Most B channels can carry a 64 kilobits per second signal, but some were limited to 56K because they traveled over RBS lines. This was commonplace in the 20th century, but has since become less so. Topic. By.25 By.25 can be carried over the B or D channels of a BRI line, and over the B channels of a PRI line. By.25 over the D channel is used at many point-of-sale terminals because it eliminates the modem setup, and because it connects to the central system over a B channel, thereby eliminating the need for modems and making much better use of the central system's telephone lines. By.25 was also part of an ISDN protocol called Always On, Dynamic ISDN, or AU, D. This allowed a user to have a constant multi-link PPP connection to the Internet over BI.25 on the D channel, and brought up one or two B channels as needed. Topic. Frame relay In theory, frame relay can operate over the D channel of BRIS and PRI, but it is seldom, if ever, used. Topic. Consumer and industry perspectives There is a second viewpoint, that of the telephone industry, where ISDN is a core technology. A telephone network can be thought of as a collection of wires strung between switching systems. The common electrical specification for the signals on these wires is T1 or E1. Between telephone company switches, the signaling is performed via SS7. 
Normally, a PBX is connected via a T1 with robbed bit signaling to indicate on hook or off hook conditions and MF and DTMF tones to encode the destination number. ISDN is much better because messages can be sent much more quickly than by trying to encode numbers as long 100 milliseconds per digit tone sequences. This results in faster call setup times. Also, a greater number of features are available and fraud is reduced. ISDN is also used as a smart network technology intended to add new services to the public switched telephone network PSTN by giving users direct access to end-to-end -end circuit switched digital services and as a backup or failsafe circuit solution for critical use data circuits. Topic. ISDN and broadcast industry ISDN is used heavily by the broadcast industry as a reliable way of switching low-latency, high-quality, long-distance audio circuits. In conjunction with an appropriate codec using MPEG or various manufacturers' proprietary algorithms, an ISDN BRI can be used to send stereo by directional audio coded at 128 kilobits per second with 20 Hz to 20 kHz audio bandwidth, although commonly the G.722 algorithm is used with a single 64 kilobits per second B channel to send much lower latency mono audio at the expense of audio quality. Where very high quality audio is required multiple ISDN BRIS can be used in parallel to provide a higher bandwidth circuit switched connection. BBC Radio 3 commonly makes use of three ISDN BRIS to carry 320 kilobits per second audio stream for live outside broadcasts. ISDN BRI services are used to link remote studios, sports grounds and outside broadcasts into the main broadcast studio. ISDN via satellite is used by field reporters around the world. It is also common to use ISDN for the return audio links to remote satellite broadcast vehicles. In many countries, such as the UK and Australia, ISDN has displaced the older technology of equalized analog landlines, with these circuits being phased out by telecommunications providers. Use of IP-based streaming codecs such as Comrex Access and IPDTL is becoming more widespread in the broadcast sector, using broadband internet to connect remote studios. <laughs> <laughs> Global usage Topic United States and Canada ISDN BRI never gained popularity as a general-use telephone access technology in Canada and the U.S., and remains a niche product. The service was seen as a solution in search of a problem, and the extensive array of options and features were difficult for customers to understand and use. ISDN has long been known by derogatory backronyms highlighting these issues, such as it still does nothing, innovation subscribers don't need, and I still don't know. Once the concept of broadband internet access came to be associated with data rates incoming to the customer at 256 kilobits per second or more, and alternatives like ADSL grew in popularity, the consumer market for BRI did not develop. Its only remaining advantage is that, while ADSL has a functional distance limitation and can use ADSL loop extenders, BRI has a greater limit and can use repeaters. As such, BRI may be acceptable for customers who are too remote for ADSL. Widespread use of BRI is further stymied by some small North American clecs such as CenturyTel having given up on it and not providing internet access using it. However, AT&T in most states especially the former SBC, SWB territory will still install an ISDN BRI line anywhere a normal analog line can be placed and the monthly charge is roughly $55. ISDN BRI is currently primarily used in industries with specialized and very specific needs. High-end videoconferencing hardware made by companies such as Sony, Polycom, Tandberg, and LifeSize via the LifeSize Networker can bond up to 8B channels together using a BRI circuit for every two channels to provide digital, circuit-switched video connections to almost anywhere in the world. 
This is very expensive, and is being replaced by IP-based conferencing, but where cost concern is less of an issue than predictable quality and where a QoS-enabled IP does not exist, Brie is the preferred choice. Most modern non-VoIP PBXs use ISDNPRI circuits. These are connected via T1 lines with the central office switch, replacing older analog two-way and direct inward dialing did trunks. PRI is capable of delivering calling line identification CLID in both directions so that the telephone number of an extension, rather than a company's main number, can be sent. It is still commonly used in recording studios, when a voiceover actor is in one studio, possibly telecommuting from home, but the director and producer are in a studio at another location. The ISDN protocol delivers channelized, not over the internet service, powerful call setup and routing features, faster setup and tear down, superior audio fidelity as compared to POTS, plain old telephone service, lower delay and, at higher densities, lower cost. In 2013, Verizon announced it would no longer take orders for ISDN service in the northeastern United States. Topic. Australia Telstra provides the business customer with the ISDN services. There are five types of ISDN services which are ISDN2, ISDN2 Enhanced, ISDN10, ISDN20 and ISDN30. Telstra changed the minimum monthly charge for voice and data calls. In general, there are two group of ISDN service types, the basic rate services, ISDN2 or ISDN2 enhanced. Another group of types are the primary rate services, ISDN October 20-30. Telstra announced that the new sales of ISDN product would be unavailable as of 31 January 2018. The final exit date of ISDN service and migration to the new service would be confirmed by 2022. India Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, Reliance Communications and Bharti Airtel are the largest communication service providers, and offer both ISDN BRI and PRI services across the country. Reliance Communications and Bharti Airtel uses the DLC technology for providing these services. With the introduction of broadband technology, the load on bandwidth is being absorbed by ADSL. ISDN continues to be an important backup network for point-to-point -point leased line customers such as banks, Aseba Centers, Life Insurance Corporation of India, and SBI ATMs. Topic. Japan On April 19, 1988, Japanese telecommunications company NTT began offering nationwide ISDN services trademarked INS Net 64, and INS Net 1500, a fruition of NTT's independent research and trial from the 1970s of what it referred to the INS Information Network System. Previously, in April 1985, Japanese digital telephone exchange hardware made by Fujitsu was used to experimentally deploy the world's first I-interface ISDN. The I-interface, unlike the older and incompatible Y-interface, is what modern ISDN services use today. Since 2000, NTT's ISDN offering have been known as FLET's ISDN, incorporating the FLET's brand that NTT uses for all of its ISP offerings. In Japan, the number of ISDN subscribers dwindled as alternative technologies such as ADSL, cable internet access, and fiber to the home gained greater popularity. On November 2, 2010, NTT announced plans to migrate their backend from PSTN to the IP network from around 2020 to around 2025. For this migration, ISDN services will be retired, and fiber optic services are recommended as an alternative. Topic. United Kingdom 
In the United Kingdom, British Telecom BT provides ISDN 2E as well as ISDN 30 PRI. Until April 2006, they also offered services named Home Highway and Business Highway, which were BRI ISDN-based services that offered integrated analog connectivity as well as ISDN. Later versions of the highway products also included built-in USB sockets for direct computer access. Home Highway was bought by many home users, usually for internet connection, although not as fast as ADSL, because it was available before ADSL and in places where ADSL does not reach. In early 2015, BT announced their intention to retire the UK's ISDN infrastructure by 2025. Topic. France. France Telecom offers ISDN services under their product name Numerous 2B plus D, of which a professional duo and home I2 version is available. ISDN is generally known as RNIS in France and has widespread availability. The introduction of ADSL is reducing ISDN use for data transfer and Internet access, although it is still common in more rural and outlying areas, and for applications such as business voice and point-of-sale terminals. <laughs> Germany In Germany, ISDN was very popular with an installed base of 25 million channels 29% of all subscriber lines in Germany as of 2003 and 20% of all ISDN channels worldwide. Due to the success of ISDN, the number of installed analog lines was decreasing. Deutsche Telekom DTAG offered both BRI and PRI. Competing phone companies often offered ISDN only and no analog lines. However, these operators generally offered free hardware that also allows the use of POTS equipment, such as NTBAs with integrated terminal adapters. Because of the widespread availability of ADSL services, ISDN was primarily used for voice and fax traffic. Until 2007 ISDN and ADSL, VDSL were often bundled on the same line, mainly because the combination of ADSL with an analog line had no cost advantage over a combined ISDN-ADSL line. This advantage diminished when vendors of ISDN technology stopped manufacturing it and spare parts became hard to come by. Since then phone companies started introducing cheaper ADSL-only products using VoIP for telephony. Since the introduction of VDSL2 using outdoor MSANs, ISDN has become obsolete. Today new ISDN lines are not available anymore in Germany and existing ISDN lines will be phased out by 2018 and replaced by G992.3 Annex J All Digital Mode ADSL. Topic. Greece OTE, the incumbent telecommunications operator, offers ISDN BRI services in Greece. Following the launch of ADSL in 2003, the importance of ISDN for data transfer began to decrease and is today limited to niche business applications with point-to-point -point requirements. Topic. International deployment A study of the German Department of Science shows the following spread of ISDN channels per 1,000 inhabitants in the year 2005. Norway 401 Denmark 339 Germany 333 Switzerland 331 Japan 240 UK 160 Finland 160 Sweden 135 Italy 105 France 85 Spain 58 United States 47 Topic Configurations 
In ISDN, there are two types of channels, B for bearer and D for data. B channels are used for data, which may include voice, and D channels are intended for signaling and control, but can also be used for data. There are two ISDN implementations. Basic Rate Interface BRI, also called Basic Rate Access BRA, consists of two B channels, each with bandwidth of 64 kilobits per second, and one D channel with a bandwidth of 16 kilobits per second. Together these three channels can be designated as 2B plus D. Primary Rate Interface PRI, also called Primary Rate Access PRA, in Europe, contains a greater number of B channels and a D channel with a bandwidth of 64 kilobits per second. The number of B channels for PRI varies according to the nation. In North America and Japan, it is 23B plus 1D, with an aggregate bit rate of 1.544 megabits per second. T1. In Europe, India, and Australia, it is 30B plus 2D, with an aggregate bit rate of 2.048 megabits per second. E1. Broadband Integrated Services Digital Network BISDN, is another ISDN implementation and it is able to manage different types of services at the same time. It is primarily used within network backbones and employs ATM. Another alternative ISDN configuration can be used in which the B channels of an ISDN BRI line are bonded to provide a total duplex bandwidth of 128 kilobits per second. This precludes use of the line for voice calls while the internet connection is in use. The B channels of several BRIS can be bonded, a typical use is a 384K video conferencing channel. Using bipolar with 80 substitution encoding technique, call data is transmitted over the data B channels, with the signaling D channels used for call setup and management. Once a call is set up, there is a simple 64 kilobits per second synchronous bidirectional data channel actually implemented as two simplex channels, one in each direction between the end parties, lasting until the call is terminated. There can be as many calls as there are bearer channels, to the same or different end points. Bearer channels may also be multiplexed into what may be considered single, higher bandwidth channels via a process called B-channel bonding, or via use of multi-link PPP bundling, or by using an H0, H11, or H12 channel on a PRI. The D channel can also be used for sending and receiving BI.25 data packets, and connection to BI.25 packet network, this is specified in BI.31. In practice, BI.31 was only commercially implemented in the UK, France, Japan and Germany. Topic. Reference points A set of reference points are defined in the ISDN standard to refer to certain points between the telco and the end-user ISDN equipment. R. Defines the point between a non-ISDN terminal equipment 2 TE2 device and a terminal adapter TA, which provides translation to and from such a device. S. Defines the point between the ISDN terminal equipment 1 TE1 or TA and a network termination type 2 NT2 device. T. Defines the point between the NT2 and network termination 1 NT1 devices. Most NT1 devices can perform the functions of the NT2 as well, and so the S and T reference points are generally collapsed into the S T reference point. In North America, the NT1 device is considered customer premises equipment CPE, and must be maintained by the customer, thus, the U interface is provided to the customer. In other locations, the NT1 device is maintained by the telco, and the ST interface is provided to the customer. In India, service providers provide U interface and an NT1 may be supplied by service provider as part of service offering. Topic. Types of communications 
Among the kinds of data that can be moved over the 64 kilobits per second channels are pulse code modulated voice calls, providing access to the traditional voice PSTN. This information can be passed between the network and the user endpoint at call setup time. In North America, ISDN is now used mostly as an alternative to analog connections, most commonly for Internet access. Some of the services envisioned as being delivered over ISDN are now delivered over the Internet instead. In Europe, and in Germany in particular, ISDN has been successfully marketed as a phone with features, as opposed to a POTS phone with few or no features. Meanwhile, features that were first available with ISDN such as three-way calling, call forwarding, caller ID, etc. are now commonly available for ordinary analog phones as well, eliminating this advantage of ISDN. Another advantage of ISDN was the possibility of multiple simultaneous calls, one call per B channel, e.g. for big families, but with the increased popularity and reduced prices of mobile telephony this has become less interesting as well, making ISDN unappealing to the private customer. However, ISDN is typically more reliable than POTS, and has a significantly faster call setup time compared with POTS, and IP connections over ISDN typically have some 30 to 35 milliseconds round trip time, as opposed to 120 to 180 milliseconds, both measured with otherwise unused lines over 56K or V.34, V.92 modems, making ISDN more reliable and more efficient for telecommuters. Where an analog connection requires a modem, an ISDN connection requires a terminal adapter TA. The function of an ISDN terminal adapter is often delivered in the form of a PC card with an ST interface, and single-chip solutions seem to exist, considering the plethora of combined ISDN and ADSL routers. ISDN is commonly used in radio broadcasting. Since ISDN provides a high-quality connection this assists in delivering good quality audio for transmission in radio. Most radio studios are equipped with ISDN lines as their main form of communication with other studios or standard phone lines. Equipment made by companies such as Telos, Omnia, the popular Zephyr Codec, Comrex, T-Line and others are used regularly by radio broadcasters. Almost all live sports broadcasts on radio are backhauled to their main studios via ISDN connections. Topic sample call The following is an example of a primary rate PRI ISDN call showing the Q.921, LAPD and the Q.931, network message intermixed i.e. exactly what was exchanged on the D channel. The call is originating from the switch where the trace was taken and goes out to some other switch, possibly an end office LEC, who terminates the call. The first line format is. If the message is an ISDN level message, then a decoding of the message is attempted showing the various information elements that make up the message. All ISDN messages are tagged with an ID number relative to the switch that started the call local, remote. Following this optional decoding is a dump of the bytes of the message in format. The RR messages at the beginning prior to the call are the keep alive messages. Setup message indicate the start of the call. Each message is acknowledged by the other side with a RR. 10 hours 49 minutes and 47 seconds. Point three three the 24th of January 21 RRR 0001 a 5 10 hours 49 minutes and 47 seconds. Point three four the 24th of January 21 TRR 001 b 9 10 hours 50 minutes and 17 seconds. Point five seven the 24th of January 21 RRR 0001 a 5 10 hours 50 minutes and 17 seconds point five eight the 24th of January 21 TRR 001 b 9 10 hours 50 minutes and 24 seconds point three seven the 24th of January 21 T setup call reference 00062 local bearer capability CCITT speech 
Switch, Circuit Mode, 64 kilobits per second channel ID, Implicit Interface ID implies current span, 5 January 21, Exclusive Calling Party Number, 8018023000 National Number User Provided, Not Screen Presentation Allowed Called Party Number, 3739120 Type, SUBSCRB 000000001A4 B8 08 02 003 E05 04 03 80 90 A2 18 03 greater than 0010A983856C0C21803830313830 3830L.801802300002020 70OHC13337333931313 30P.37391210 10 hours 50 minutes and 24 seconds point 37 the 24th of January 21 RRR 0000000001 01A6 10 hours 50 minutes and 24 seconds point 77 the 24th of January 21 R call proceeding call reference 000062 local channel ID implicit interface ID implies current span the 5th of January 21 exclusive 0000020201 B eight A six O eight O two eight O three E O two one eight O three A nine eighty three eighty five greater than ten hours fifty minutes and twenty four seconds point seven seven the twenty fourth of January twenty one T R R O O O O O two O one O one Ba ten hours fifty minutes and twenty five seconds point zero two the twenty fourth of January twenty one R alerting call reference O O O O six two local progress indicator CCITT, public network serving local user, in band information or an appropriate pattern is now available 0000-02-01 by A608-02-803-E011-E02-823-0 greater than, 10 hours 50 minutes and 25 seconds point zero two the 24th of January 21 TRR 0000-02-01-01 BC, 10 hours 50 minutes and 28 seconds seconds. 43 The 24th of January 21 R Connect Call Reference 000062 Local 0000-02-01 BC A608-02-803-E07 Greater than 10 hours 50 minutes and 28 seconds point four three the 24th of January 21 TRR 0000020101B 10 hours 50 minutes and 28 seconds point 43 the 24th of January 21 T connect underscore act call reference 000062 local 000001A6B080203E0F greater than 10 hours 50 minutes and 28 seconds point 44 the 24th of January 21 RRR 0000000101A8 10 hours 50 minutes and 35 seconds point 69 the 24th of January 21 T disconnect call reference 000062 local cause 16 normal call clearing 0000001A8B08020003E450808028A90 greater than E 10 hours 50 minutes and 35 seconds point 70 the 24th of January 21 RRR 0000001A 10 hours 50 minutes and 36 seconds point 98 the 24th of January 21 R release call reference 000062 local 000002-01-BR08-02-803-E4-D greater than M 10 hours 50 minutes and 36 seconds point 98 the 24th of January 21 TRR 0000020101C0
10 hours 50 minutes and 36 seconds. Point nine nine. The 24th of January 21. T release complete. Call reference 000062 local. 000000001 AC 0802003 E5A. Greater than Z. 10 hours 50 minutes and 36 seconds. Point zero zero. The 24th of January 21. RRR. 0000001 AC. 10 hours 51 minutes and 6 seconds. Point one zero. The 24th of January 21. RRR. 0000002001 AD. 10 hours 51 minutes and 6 seconds. Point one zero. The 24th of January 21. TRR. 0000002001 C1. 10 hours 51 minutes and 36 seconds. Point three seven. The 24th of January 21. RRR. 0000002001 AD. 10 hours 51 minutes and 36 seconds. Point three seven. The 24th of January 21. TRR. 0000002001 C1. Topic. See also Topic Protocols ISDN User Part ISUP DSS1 ETSI Euro ISDN, also used in many non-European countries DSS2 Digital Subscriber Signaling System No. 2 ETS300 Specification at ETSI NI1 US National ISDN Phase 1 NI2 US National ISDN Phase 2 4 ESS Lucent 4 ESS Specific Protocol Defined in AT and TTR 41459 Insnet 64 1500 Japanese National NTT Carrier Specific Protocol DAX used in the UK by British Telecom it uses non-standard D-channel signaling for pair Gangsig remote operations service element protocol Rose Q931 FTZ1 TR6 obsolete German National Protocol TS.013 TS.014 Obsolete Australian National Protocol VN2, VN3, VN4 Obsolete French National Protocols Specifications defining the physical layer and part of the data link layers of ISDN, ISDN BRI, ITUTI.430 ISDN PRI, ITUTI.431 from the point of view of the OSI architecture, an ISDN line has a stack of three protocols Physical layer Data link layer Network layer The ISDN protocol, properly Topic. Other CAPI ADSL ATM BISDN Internet IPDTL H320 ETSI List of device bandwidths Notes <laughs>